Christmas without you I'll be so blue just thinking about you decorations of red on a green Christmas tree won't be the same dear if you're not here with me and when those blue snowflakes start falling that's when those blue memories start calling you'll be doing all right with your christmas of white but i'll have a blue 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 christmas You'll be doing all right with your Christmas of white, but I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Blue, blue Christmas. Yeah, I've been feeling blue since about two months ago, and I'll tell you why. I suffer from the fall, fall, what do you call it, fall depression, seasonal disorder of depression when the fall comes. This summer sucked though, I gotta say. The weather was bad. Not only that, this coronavirus fucked the whole year up severely. This is one of the worst years I ever saw. In the sense of people becoming more paranoid, people losing jobs, people dying from the sickness, coronavirus 19. Anyhow, what a bad year, 2020. It's still not good because we got no vaccine for the coronavirus. So, to make it better, we do need a vaccine. We need medicine to cure the sick and dying people dying of the coronavirus. 2020 was a bad year, bad year. I'm used to selling three or four or 600 paintings per year. This year I only sold four paintings in 2020. That's the worst showing I've ever had since 1984. That's the worst, worst I've ever done. You know, I'm used to selling 300 paintings, 600 paintings a year, 500 paintings a year. For me to only sell four paintings in for this year, that's very bad, very bad. Please subscribe to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel. When in Kempful, come buy some paintings. I live at 27 Canaan Avenue, Kempful, apartment B, Nova Scotia, Canada, yellow house, white trim, I'm in apartment B upstairs. Knock on the door and I'll say folk art, fine art, abstract art paintings. 50 bucks each, 100 bucks each, 200 bucks each, 300 bucks each, 400 bucks each. All you landlords and rich people can afford the Dennis Ramsey paintings. Especially you middle class folks and millionaires and billionaires. You got more money than brains. And I'll tell you why I say that. There's a reason why I always say that. Most middle class folks and millionaires and billionaires own anywhere from two cars up to six cars. That's why I say they lack brains. I don't care if I was to win the lotto 
and get 30 million bucks, I'd still have one car. One car would be enough for Dennis Ramsey. I can't understand you millionaires and billionaires, the middle class folks showing off with all your vehicles, owning four or five cars or trucks, big deal. Waste of money, big deal. Waste of money. One car, one truck per person is enough. Like I said today, if somebody gave me 20 million bucks, I'd own one car, one car, one house, one wife, that's enough. You don't need four or five cars, and four or five girlfriends, and four or five houses. Just because you got money, big deal, waste of money. Why should you have four or five cars when there's only one of you? One vehicle per person's plenty. Now I notice some husbands and wives, they own three or four cars each. Think about it, that's a waste of money. If you own one car, keep up the maintenance on that one car and the gas and the insurance, don't you think you're dishing enough money out right there? One vehicle is enough. Subscribe and share and take care and happy Halloween to everybody today. All you kids wear some white clothing so you don't get run over by a car or truck tonight. And check your treats, the candy bars and candies. Take a steak knife, cut them in two and look in the center. Make sure there's no tacks or needles or razor blades. Because there's sick people out there that'll tamper with your candy. When I was a kid, I had razor blades in my apples and oranges and candy bars. That's why I say, be careful. Take a steak knife and cut open the bars. Look in the center. Make sure they haven't been tampered with. And wear light clothing tonight so you don't get run over by a car or a truck. If you look at your candy, and the wrapper's been taken off and put back on. Don't eat it. If you open up the candy bar, check in the center. Take a chocolate bar and cut it in four pieces. Right down the center, crisscross. Then check it. Make sure there's nothing inside that is bad, like dope, needles, razor blades, tacks. People will put that stuff in your candy. It happened to me several times when I was a young fella. That's why I say to you, take your steak knife, cut open your bars and apples and oranges, and look in the center. Check them out real good. There's people out there that are saddest. They enjoy inflicting pain on others because they're saddest. They're cruel and inhumane individuals that enjoy putting razor blades and candy bars and some young fella or young girl cut her mouth all to pieces, needs stitches at the hospital. These are called saddest. People that enjoy inflicting pain on others. Bad people. Bad people. Please subscribe to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel. Bye for now.